Hello everybody, I am Molden and this is Elden Ring once again. Last time we defeated General Radon. And today we're gonna be heading into Nakron, the Eternal City, now that that's open, but first let me talk to some you people. That's correct, I take it. Bet him I did. Owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. Mm -hmm. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. Alright then. It's been a while since we actually talked to anyone here in the round table hold. The Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. Maybe and give those who live in death a chance. The vermin must be exterminated. Down to the very last. Sounds like he don't want to give those who live in death a chance. Anywho, pretty sure Roger is over here. Yep, there he is. Ah, we meet again after all. Yeah, I we haven't talked for in a any while. offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So. What do you need? What do I need? Well, first off, I've defeated Godric. I did that a while ago. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? I'd say so. Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on. Take it. Ooh, nice sword. But I like my sword better. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. And what about the D? Ah, so you've met D. D, D is an old met. friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. <laughs> D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Even better if they were me. <laughs> Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. Sounds like and somebody I else I know. It could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. I am a terrifying presence, aren't I? Anywho, we'll leave Roger to his devices. And... What about you? Anything for you to say? Ah, I have been waiting for your return. I've decided to leave the round table hold after all. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, I'm off in search of the noble gold mask. We may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish to learn, now's the moment. I'm good, I ain't no incantation man. May the golden order shine through you. Yep. Will do. I'll let that golden order shine through a certain hole on my body. And look at that. That door over there is now open. And it looks like, like there's an invader looking sort of dude sitting here. And if we take a close look at him, we'll notice he's got a medallion that resembles the sun. Not unlike a different guy who was very likable in Dark Souls 1. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being? I don't think so. Life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <sighs> Apparently not. No, I have not. You are but a lamb. A stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. Well, fuck you too, you then. No longer interest me. Well, double fuck I've you then. Been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. 
I'll spoil whatever I want to spoil. I see you've been busy spoiling all these dead guys behind you. Them some rotten ass corpses. What you doing to them, boy? No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. Fox. Yet tender. Apparently my seedbed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Uh -huh. Go and shackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Sewer jail key. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Uh, I'd your rather corpse avoid that. Truly be your own. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh. You already said that. It's in the sewer jail. I can kill them. The yep, yep. You told me all you need to tell me, apparently. That dialogue there triggers once you pick up a seed bed curse, which we found back in the Volcano Manor. Where is it? I know it's... Ah, there it is. There's a lot of them you can find, but you only need one to trigger his side quest, and I'm pretty sure that door opens once you have, like, maybe three great runes. Because I came back here off-camera to upgrade my weapons after beating Radon and noticed that door was open. Anywho, I'm in need of a hug. I'm pleased to see you again. Give me a hug. Would you like me to hold you? Once more? Did you just hear me say give me a hug? Now, come closer. Yep. Start hugging on this shit later. Don't mind the spike on my helmet. Yep. We'll just bury you that in your neck. So very warm. Yeah, as you talk about that helmet spike I just buried in your neck. That shit's gotta hurt. And we can talk in secret. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this as often as it takes. Well, hugs are nice. May I ask a favor? Am I asking a favor or is she asking a favor? My dear. I think she is. Might I ask something of you? Yep, she's asking. Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? Weathered dagger. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. <clears throat> it must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back. If you wouldn't mind. I can look for whoever owned it, but I'm not certain who did. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you. And return it to them. Specifically stab them with it. Thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Yes, literally inside of their heart. Then good day to you, my dear. Alright. We've had our hug. We've talked to people. We've stabbed her in with my helmet. And away we go. There we go. Now, first and foremost, let me use that Baldican's Blessing so I don't have that tiny sliver of health missing for any longer. And it's quite possible somebody here in the round table hold might know a thing or two about that dagger Did we were just given. Yeah, do you know anything about Roger? Acquainted with a man named Roger. Yes, we you just know, talked to him. The piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. Yep. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. 
Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Okay, so you know anything about this dagger. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Found it. Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Well, all right then. You got that dagger? Did you need something? No, I didn't need something. I'm trying to use the table here. I got a pee on it, don't you know? And he's gone. Now, where did he run off to? Probably to return that dagger to whoever it belonged to. Maybe Hug Girl knows something. And she's gone. Well, that's just the damnedest thing. And suddenly that door is open. Now, what happened here? Oh, there you are. And there you are. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble and now i must bid you goodbye as well though i ask you deliver this message to the round table hold i am via deathbed companion hark round table disturb not the death of godwin the exalted we who humbly live in death live in waiting to one day welcome our lord what right does anyone have to object our lord will rise the lord of the many and the meek hey wait where are you going man all i wanted was a hug and she shanked my homie and t-posed out of here but now i got his bell bearing and his twinned armor that will be useful for uh, another leg of that side quest. Also, there's a different thing, a part of Fia and Roger's quest that I missed. That, well, where she gives you a hastily drawn map that leads you to a catacombs where you find a special thing in there. And then you come back and a bunch of stuff happens. Anyway, I'm going to Starfall Crater because that's where I want to go. I've business in that crater because that crater is going to lead me to Nokron, the Eternal City, where Ronnie wants me to go and find a hidden treasure. Oh look, floating rocks. That's completely normal. Very normal. Damn. That's a really big crater left by that meteor. And to think, Radon, with his rotted out brain, were still holding that back while fighting me and an army of other dudes. There's a traitor taken care of. Onwards to Nakron, then. Go on, I'll catch up. Okay. Who's this traitor you're talking about? Hmm. I do not know. On an unrelated note, I think I completely forgot to talk to Celibus back there at those three towers. 
he would have given me a side quest to go give a certain potion to Nefeli Lu. A potion that you probably don't want to give to her. Now, here we go. There, oh, there goes my horse. Not allowed riding into these tunnels. But here we have the entrance to Nokron, the eternal city. Now just how eternal was this city if it ended up buried in the ground and had to be accessed with a meteor of all things? Couldn't possibly be that eternal if it's in such a sorry state. Now, suddenly it got dark and I got soporific grease. Now that's a grease I can get behind for all of my soporific needs. And here we are, Nokron, Eternal City. So let's go. Let's fucking go, mister. Some nice narrow bridges and what appears to be a blob of oil. A blob of oil that probably wants to kill me. Ow. Now why you gotta do something like that? All right. You, you're the one doing that. I will tolerate that no longer now. Eat a dick. And, ow. Well fine, I'll just shoot you with a non-charged one. You wanna die faster? I'll let you die faster. And there's more up here. That's great. Fantastic. Lots of them. They all want me dead. Wouldn't you want me dead? I am, after all, a very handsome individual. People are often jealous of my devilish good looks and my ability to whoop all of the ass. So jealous, in fact, that they have to kill me. To seem a little more adequate. But that ain't gonna work. Because they are destined for failure if they're gonna try doing shit like that. That's a big bow! Boom, baby! And I need more magic juice. Stop scratching your head and drink your blue stuff. Now. Damn, I took off the glintstone stars for the great bow. And I don't think the cannon of Hyma will reach. So, have a quick one. Alright, there we are. Upgrading the shit out of my staff off camera was definitely a good decision. Ow. I also leveled up my intelligence so that I could effectively use the academy staff. Well, since when do those red droplet scarabs go disappearing like that? Or are you just invisible? Yeah, that bitch is gone. If he were still there, I'd still be able to hit him. Maybe that's one of the things they fixed in the recent update. They changed a lot of things around for the... PvP aspect of the game. Have that separate from fighting regular ass enemies in terms of scaling and shit. But I haven't actually practiced the PvP in quite a while. In fact, I've only been playing this game for the sake of recording in recent days. I've been playing other games on my own time. Now, boom! I'm breaking all your shit. It's what you get for leaving priceless relics laying around. And now I just need to find a safe place to drop to. All right, here we go. This is a nice little pile of rubble down there that'll cushion the fall. Yep, my legs are unbroken. And I want what you have. And it's a golden rune. And there happens to be dudes over there. And not the good kind of dude either. The kind that you just want to blow the fuck up because they're ugly! There you go. And I ain't got enough 
power in me to go hurling another one of those. But I can fire off one of these! Have a taste of my big bow! I see you got bows too that happen to give me frostbite, but that ain't gonna help you. I got a nice, really big bow made of magic. And you ain't frostbiting me, mister. You can frostbite these nuts. On second thought, don't do that. That would be very unpleasant. I like my nuts the way they are. Not frosty, not bitten, or any sort of combination of the words. Now, damn short of another level. That's fine. I didn't want to level up anyway. I like not being as smart as I could possibly be to get the most out of my magic. And that dude over there. He sucks! Because he's not going to be able to dodge one of these! There you go. You're all dead and shit. Have fun with that. Now, if I was a hidden treasure of an eternal city... Well, first, I'd have to deal with this guy to go find me. And there you go. In the patch notes that I read, I noticed they had buffed a whole lot of spells. And nerfed a couple other things. Oh, that's Frostbite! I didn't want to do that. Did you just try to hit me with a blue torch? Hmm. Don't you, motherfucker. These dudes are getting to be... Can you stop doing that? Alright. Now then, you there. I'm noticing there's two of you. Waiting. Waiting. And here's an opportunity to fire the cannon! Ha ha. Aw. Well, fine. Have a glintstone arc, too. That's better. Magic is fun. Especially when it's actually effective. Now that that's out of the way, let's keep on moving through here. Oh, there's a dude. I noticed you exist, and I can't allow that. And this way... These are stairs. Stairs lead to ways forward. Unless that stairway happens to lead to a dead end, in which case, fuck that stairway. Now it's a stairway to heaven that you really want. But you ain't gonna find that anyway around here. This ain't the sort of place you'd find that sort of stairway. Did your whippy sword just clang off the wall? Alright, you really need to stop that. There you go. That's what you get. For wailing on a helpless little traveler like that, did someone, yep, someone just tried to poke me with a big gooey lance. And how kind of you to replenish the uses of my drinky juice. Now that's some good shit right there. Yep. And right there. Down there, we've got ourselves a nice little boss fight. Also, I'm pretty sure there's something behind me, right? Yep, there it is. It's a rune arc. That's some good shit right there. There's a lot of good shit. And some bad shit. But let's focus on the good. Now, there's one way to make this boss extremely easy. And that's to take off all of your equipment before you step in. And then once he appears, you put it all back on. But I'm not going to do that. I ain't cheesing this boy. It's much more fun to fight him straight up. And... With a puff of smoke and a splash of goo... I now fight myself. Behold... Uh, the Mimic Tear. And that Mimic Tear ain't fucking around. I done went got parried. I'd thank you to not do that. He has all the same shit you do. He can parry. Well, if you can parry, he can parry. If you can shoot magic, he can shoot magic. And 
Bam! Did you just try to freezing mist me? Oh, piss on it. Starting to regret having Kari in retaliation. Now... Oh, that's the frosty bitey bits that you ain't supposed to be doing to me. Take that, did you motherfucker. Well, have one of these! Parry this, you filthy casual! Boom! Ah, you have no counter for my big magic hammer! And here you come doing one of these, and here I come doing one of those! You don't like that frostbite now, do ya? <laughs> oh, you turd burglar! Oof. You went and did the thing you weren't supposed to do! Yep. There you go. And one of these! Now, I don't think he's able to, like, switch between the weapons you have in your different slots. Because you may have noticed he hasn't started firing off spells like I've been doing. And you're still alive. You realize you ain't supposed to be doing that? I'm over here trying to kill you and you're surviving? How dare you? Teabag, 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 teabag. And I got a silver tear mask and a larval tear. But anyway, yeah. That's the mimic tear. Pretty fun fight, unless you decide to completely cheese him on the equipment front. And, you know, I'm gonna pump some more into mind. A little more FP will carry me a good long way. And well, now that we're out of there, we can call the horse! And right at the end of this bridge, oop, there's a boy. Don't you run from me! There you go. You can have fun down there. All right. I got worried for a second there. I thought him falling might have screwed me out of whatever item he had. Might have made him just poof away rather than dying by fall. Now then, at the end of this bridge, we'll come out to another section with those big horned guys that we've seen at the fucking whatever it was called, the Siofra River well. And there's also another bunch of torches that we can light that will give us access to another optional boss. Whoosh goes the fire. And that other optional boss is almost identical to the ancestor spirit that I showed off before. Except he's got a few different moves. He's called the Regal Ancestral Spirit, and he's worth more souls. But right over here, we've got ourselves the rest of the Eternal City of Nokron. Heading off across that way, we've also got a different place that leads to an entirely separate boss fight, which we will go to, to later on. To further our way through Fia's quest line, which will grant us access to an ending that I'm probably not gonna go for. And it also grants us access to another somewhat hidden boss that, in my entire history of playing this game, I have had absolutely no trouble beating. But then again, I haven't fought him since the nerf of Bloodhound step, and I'd always be spamming the shit out of that against him. And you, sir, are trying to shoot me. Well, let's see how you like getting shot. And if it would just switch targets back to the right guy. Did I actually blow up the right guy? I might have. Anyway, you sit right there and I'm firing the cannon! Damn it. Well, fine. A more direct shot will get you, baby! Yeah. So that 
solves a bunch of problems right off the bat. They would have been very annoying up close and personal. You might have noticed one of them turning into a person. That is a thing that they can do. Much like the Mimic tier that we just fought, except they don't turn into me. It's just a regular ass dude. And now, right here, we can not face that way. We can face that way. Very large, imposing figure sitting on a throne. A very large throne at that. Fortunately, that dude's dead and is not going to try to eliminate me in the most painful way possible. So, if we drop in here... I don't think anyone's up here on this upper level gonna try to kill me. There's the black wet blade, which I'm thinking gives me access to putting blood loss and other similar effects onto my weapons. Much like I'm able to put cold on my weapons with the fucking glintstone wet blade without having to specifically use a cold ash of war. And in here, we're gonna get ourselves something that I'm definitely not going to use, but I am definitely going to grab. And you ain't seen nothing yet, you little bitch. So suck on that! Yeah, you just got stabbed in the back. And there you go. A Little bit of frostbite makes you die horribly. And I'm happy with that. Open you up. And we get ourselves the Mimic Tear Ashes, which lets you summon a Mimic Tear for certain combat encounters. There's other ashes, and I don't think I showed them off yet. In fact, I know I haven't showed them off yet, and I don't think I even have the bell that you ring to summon them. Because I done went waited too long to talk to Ronnie early on. She would have appeared in that first church we found, calling herself Rena, and then she would have given you the bell, the little dingly ding 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 that lets you summon ashes like that. And I think because I missed that, I'm gonna have to go buy the bell, which I'm probably not going to do. And before I go down there, I'm going to murder that big ball. Because if I don't kill it, it's going to be a very big problem for me. Now, let's just burn you down with a bit of magic. And there we go. Now, alright, just stay right there and I hope this doesn't make me step forward off the edge. Alright. Stay where you are! God damn it. It unlocked the target on me. Anyway, just stay there. And... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, fine. If you don't want to wait your turn, I can kill you right quick. So that you ain't bothering me while I go trying to pop your ball. And... Boom, baby! What you got for me? Oh, you dropped your gloves. How nice. Some noxy-ass gloves those are. Now you just hold still, don't go unlocking my target on me or anything like that. There you go. And you're still alive. Well, nothing that a little plunging attack won't fix. And we've got ourselves a larval tear out of that. And there's a few more of them big balls around here somewhere that I ain't gonna go fucking around with, except I might if they happen to be in my way. And they are not here because they're in a different Eternal City by the name of Noxtella that I can't quite remember how to get to just yet. It ain't that hard to get to. Because if it was, I'd have remembered all the pain in the ass I had to go through to get to it. Now, yeah, I'm still not quite in level up territory again. But let's just march on forward. Because you are an asshole when you try to poke me with your stuff. You're turning into a dude. Now switch the target to the dude guy. 
There you are with a great shield and a spear backing up and shit. Well, too bad for you. You're all frostbitten and shit. And you're all parried and stabbed. Does it feel good, Mr. Silvertear? It shouldn't, because it's a goddamn sword stuck all up inside of your chest. That shit don't feel good. Oh, we got another one with a great sword. And why do you use jumping attacks? That's like one of the few things that can't be parried. And, ah, you got smacked. You'd probably be more of a threat if you had some armor instead of just being a naked dude. But, hey, I ain't here to give you advice. And, oh, there we go. I noticed that rolling stab attack you did came out slower than it used to. That there is another thing that I think they nerfed. People using the ultra great swords in PvP would constantly crouch and then hit, hit you with a light attack, which comes out really fast and does a lot more damage than it should. And that has finally been nerfed. To it, to some extent, anyway. It's still a viable way of dealing damage. But just a little bit slower. And maybe does a little less damage. Anyway, there's just one tier left. And what a big tier it is! My, what big tears you cry, Grandma! All the better to break your heart with when you go betraying me, my dear. Now you're gonna fall down and I'm gonna stab you in the face after I land a few regular ass hits, that is. Squeeze as much damage out of this situation as I possibly can. And, alright, there's your sword slam and you're still not... There you go. Alright. Very good. And quick stab to the eye to put you down for good. Big boy destroyed. Now let's go claim us a hidden treasure of an eternal city. Which happens to be inside that giant ass throne we were looking at earlier. And here we are. Finger Slayer Blade and some great Ghost Glove Wart. Those Ghost Glove Wart things are used for upgrading the ashes that I'm never going to use. Now, where's that? There it is. There's that Finger Slayer Blade. The hidden treasure of the eternal city of Nakron. A blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City and symbolizes its downfall. Cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but it is but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. We got it. We got ourselves that blade. And we'll just go ahead and slap this doohickey and see where it takes us. Probably right back to the Yep, right back here to this side of grace before we came down into the big part of the Eternal City. And now that we got that, let's go hand it off to Ronnie. But before that, I'm gonna go and see Celibus because this might be my last chance to actually talk to him unless I already blew that. And he ain't too far away from where we are right now. I just need to step out of Ronnie's rise here. And then we go this way. There's him, Tower. And I'm starting to think that Celibus may have been the traitor that Blythe mentioned in that message back there. Unless he was talking about somebody else, which is entirely possible. But, let's see, uh, oh, nope, Celibus is still very much alive. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, 
you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. Perhaps. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Yeah, I'll good, take it. Good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Seluvis's potion. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings. And soon. Alright. You know what? What does this potion have to say about itself in here? There it is. Small flask received from Preceptor Celibus containing a cloudy tonic of bluish black. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. That is all. Now, if you know what this potion does, you do not want to give it to Nefeli. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it right now. Anyone who drinks that potion will become Celibus's puppet. And it's also very heavily speculated that Celibus likes to sexually abuse his puppets, and I wouldn't put it past this snide ass wagon over here. In fact, we can actually go find where he likes to store his puppets. It's uh, not here. I think it's back... I might have actually already gone in there, but probably haven't. But it's back where we killed the scarab that gave us the chilling mist, Ash of War. Hidden under a, an illusory floor. Which it would be right in here. Err. Um. It would be... Ah, here, up in here is where it would be. Of course, it's guarded by one little turd burglar who can't do shit. And, yep, here we are. Here is Celibus's sex slave storage facility. We got this person. Uh, we got this dude. Well, maybe he doesn't molest all of them, but most likely does. We got this lady. Another lady. We've got the legend himself. <laughs> Hats off to you if you know exactly what I'm talking about, but eh. Celephus's puppet, do not touch. Yeah, wait, it's this wall. Yeah. We've got another one in here. And I'm pretty sure that it's in this room that you would find Nefeli if you gave her that potion. Sitting down on her knees, hunched backward like most of these people. And I am not giving this potion to Nefeli. There is somebody much more deserving. Somebody who is very loathsome. And I think if I go give the Finger Slayer Blade to Ronnie right now, Celibus is going to end up dead. Because there is a certain event you do that gets Celibus killed, and there's nothing you can do to stop him from getting killed once that event is done. And I think it may or may not be giving Ronnie the Finger Slayer Blade. That said, let's pop back over here to the Eternal City so that we can further progress Fia's questline. And I'm also just now remembering that there's another thing back in Liurnia that I'm going to need to take care of for this questline. And there's also something else there that I want to do that I may or may not have already gone too far to do. But now that Radon is defeated, it should be doable, and that melted mushroom will be very helpful in doing what I'm talking about. 
something that I've already hinted at before, and I'm just gonna light some of these torches real quick. Don't come impaling me with your antlers. I have done nothing at all to deserve that. Somebody's shooting at me. I noticed something whizzing past the screen. And I'm not gonna go and hit all them torches right now. Maybe some other time, but for now, I'm going this way where all the jellyfish are gathered. Because this leads us on the right track to the next leg of Fia's quest line. And I might want to go sticking my lantern on because it's kind of dark in here. Ah, the lovely jellyfish. It is so jelly and very fish. And I am doing a very poor job of making an impression of that French narrator from Spongebob. There is nothing better than the natural jelly of a jellyfish. That's the best I can do right now. But then again, I'm also splitting my attention between trying to do a voice and playing the video game. And there just so happens to be a crucible night down there. Hold this for me, would ya? Now, why are you sitting right there? Well, probably because that's the only place I can go to actually land in there. So yeah, he's moving to intercept, which he wouldn't be doing had I not shot him. And that's what I get for being an idiot. And you get a sword in your gut for being my enemy. And there's your sword swing, owie. And boom, baby! I've got you! And there's not a damn thing you can do about it! Of course, you can take a few swipes at me and maybe get a lucky hit off or two. And there's the angel wings. Bye! Hey, he was so kind to toss his shield up to me as he fell to his death. Why can't we have more enemies like that? Anyway, there's another Crucible Knight right there. But you may notice that that one doesn't look quite the same as the one who just catapulted himself into the abyss. This one wields a spear... And has a different way of fighting. I'm also thinking... I also think that this variation of Crucible Knight is entirely female. Based on some item descriptions that I read of the armor that you can get a hold of. Anyway, you won't see this coming now, will you, lady? Well, hey, no stompies. Take that! Stompies is bad. Bad for business it is to be stomping like that. I thought you were about to do another Stompies. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a swig of my flask, and this little turd biscuit ain't gonna mind his own fucking damn business, apparently. Don't mind me. I'm just taking my shit back. And then I'm gonna go hunt down that little fuck nugget who don't know how to mind his own damn business and teach him a very valuable lesson about poking his nose where it doesn't belong. Don't you go sounding off like that. Oh, uh, look at that. You've attracted the attention of more people who need to die. Why must you be so dumb? Surely you realize your friends cannot stand against me. So now that he's out of the way, I don't have to deal with him walking up and sticking a sword in my ass while I'm busy taking care of some business. So, let's take care of that business. And... There you go. That one was just flat out disrespect. Straight into the void. That's why you try to position yourself away from the ledge. Otherwise, someone's gonna send you falling to your death. 
And... Ooh, there you are. Wait, are you, uh, Ash of War or a fucking... Okay, yeah, you're a good one. Not just one of those flask refills for a flask I haven't even used yet. You're gonna give me something. Order healing. A spell that is actually an incantation that I'm not gonna use. Jumping? I think not. But this dude is thinking about something else, like giving me that golden rune that he's got. <laughs> now, there's somebody around here somewhere that I need to talk to, but he's a bit further up, sitting on the side of a thing. Like on the same side I was just on, except only further in. And I don't remember entirely whether or not there's a side of grace around here, because I'm about to be going into a boss fight, and I've got some runes that I don't want to go squandering. Owie! Well, this is a bad position. Now, how about... Some explosive... How about some explosive death and destruction? There you go. Now, if only you were grouped a little closer together, that would have been fantastic. Now, just hold still. There we go. Problems are being solved with explosives. The one true solution to every problem in existence. But if you don't have access to explosives, a sword is definitely a very effective method. Now, all right, we're good, this room's clear. And I got my flasks back. How kind they are to return them to me. And here's that dude I was just talking about. Hand over the twinned armor set. Sure, I ain't gonna wear it. I don't want to walk around breastfeeding a silver guy. Or was it a gold guy that he was breastfeeding? Either way, you can have it. I don't want it. Darby. He was muttering a name that began with a D. Yeah, Dare. Yeah, you go ahead and keep trying to say a dude's name. I ain't gonna stop ya. But he did give us a gesture that I like using a lot. Oh ho. I can summon D, Beholder of Death. That is not D, Hunter of the Dead, but D, Beholder of Death. And you know what? I'm just gonna say it. That dude back there that we gave the that we gave D's armor to, we gave him the D. That is D's brother. And you can find a note on Roger's sleeping body that says, "Oh, I forgot to tell you, D has a brother sitting in the Siofra Aqueduct, and it said that he stood before the Prince of Death." And this is going to take us toward the Prince of Death. But we've got a problem. A valiant gargoyle don't want us going to see the Prince of Death because he's a big smelly willy. Now just hold still while I beat you up. Oh, you and your gas. He went and farted on me except he shot that stuff out of his mouth. He's talking out his ass over here. Over here, over there, with all the ass gas coming out of his mouth. Yep, yep, owie, that hurts. Give me my juice. And more gas. Well, a little bit of glintstone arcs will serve me well here, putting in a little extra damage. And here comes the slammy whammy, but too bad for you, you didn't hit nothing. Alright, that's. 
gonna get to be annoying if you don't start holding still and let me wail on you real good. Oof. Early on that roll there on my part. Oh, there you go, spinny roundy. And here comes the sword. Now, just be polite here. And... Alright. There we go. And one of those. Oh, fuck off. I dodged that. Oh, fuck off. That did not hit me. And you are, might be noticing there's a second health bar. Meaning there's a second gargoyle. That's why you want to kill that guy pretty fast. It ain't so bad one-on-one, -on -one, but when there's two of them... Yeah... It gets a little fucky. Now... I'm gonna pop me a rune arc. And now we'll see... If that makes a big enough difference. It could, you never know. I also do have a nice sack of runes that I'd like to not lose. And, oh, he's gassing! Oh, all gassy and shit with that gas. Now just hold still while I blow your face off. Alright. Yep. Now have a little more of the cannon! Alright. You know, it ain't so good if you go stabbing me while I'm trying to blast your face open. Oh, yep. That one was definitely my fault. Should have stuck to straight up sword and shield. I see you don't want me getting my shit back. Well, too bad for you. It's mine. It's my shit and you can't have it. Uh-oh. All right. Panic rolling to the rescue. Alright, just quit doing stupid things. And, alright. Now, come on. Oh, you're whipping out that halberd. Just be still while I give you the power pokies. Alright. You traded blows there, but his was probably harder. Hold still, I'm trying to stagger you so I can stab you in the mouth. Uh-oh, didn't have my healing juice on. Alright. Okay, now that I've fixed my stuff and things, there you go. I just had to go for it. Had to go for the stuffy things that I wanted to hit you with in spite of the poison gas you're spraying from your dick and balls. All right. Juice. It feels good to swallow juice all up inside of my bones. Why did that not hit you? Now. Are you gonna be a good little boy? No, you're not. You're gonna prance around like a dingus so that I can't hit you with my jumpy attacks. Oh, fuck you. Hold still. Stop with the stuff. Stop with all of the stuff. I'm over here. You can't get me with your stuff when I'm over here. I'm using up a lot more flasks than I should try to get this dude staggered and shit, but would you quit oh, moving around? There you go. All right, hold still. Why are you not stance broken yet? All right. Now, be still. All right. And there we go. Oh, there's gargoyle number two. Now, just let me position myself so I can actually see the son of a bitch. Because I don't want him blindsiding me. And all right. We're good. Now, have some glitstone arcs. Yeah. All right. Back it on up. And there's that. I'm going to drink my Flasco Wondrous Physic because why the fuck not? And I see you're not going to leave me alone now, are you? Yeah. Here you go, doing one of those. All right. Now, you just stay over there while I fire away. That is not staying over there! And, come on, move it, move it! Get that shield out! And I can't... Alright, we're good. We're in less danger than we were just a second ago because I'm not backed up against a wall with the camera getting all fucked up. 
All right. Now, woo! Be still. There we are. And I'll hit you with one of these. Damn, that glintstone arc doesn't have quite as much range as I would like. I didn't need that magic flask. All right. Now, I really want to burn that first one down so that I don't have to worry about two on one here. I never like fighting two on one, even if it's in my favor. I like fighting straight up, but that ain't always an option. All right. Yep, there we go. I'm whittling you down with me glintstone arcs. All right, now just get him. All right. Stop looking at your stick. All right, we're good. Now it's a fair fight. And I didn't pull my shield back out like I thought I did. All right. Now that we're back to one-on-one, -on -one, it should be super bad. As long as I don't go pulling any stupid maneuvers, which is very possible. All right. Here comes your axe that likes to explode the dirt. And... All right. You're over there now. Oof. Big oof. Stop it. And... All right, good. Now I can carve up your butt cheeks. And you're about to yell and do the explosive axe slam that I really don't like because that happens. I can dodge the initial strike, but if I'm rolling inward, the explosive dirt will get to me. And there's some gas. Always with the gas. Why, well, you gotta be such a gassy little boy. Now, come and get some, mister. Uh, always with the gassing, he is. He's such a gassy little toddler. Now get that shield out. All right. Excellent timing on that shield. And if we're gonna be cooperative here, which clearly you're not, you'd stop flailing around like a crazy-ass motherfucker, and I'd be able to cut you open and get all the candy that pours out of your bleeding wounds. Because we all know gargoyles have candy for blood. Little known fact that everyone knows. Uh-oh. Here comes the gas again. Why you be so gassy? Uh, all right. Now, there we go. All right. No, mister, no. Why, mister, I've had enough of the axe. And now you're about to do the splody slam. All right. The key is to move backward when he does that. Uh, why, you gotta lunge at me right as I cast these spells. And, all right, there's my opening and fucking whiffed on that first swing. It's spell time! Shouldn't go giving me the distance I need to go cast in my glintstone arc, mister. And have another glintstone arc. I goof. Drink some juice and drink it fast. All right. All right. And I've got just enough FP for one last glintstone arc before I gotta drink my blue goo again. All right. I rolled in, but I didn't get exploded by the ground that time. Oh, I'm all out of all of my flasks. But as long as I'm smart and not get Not having that happen. I got greedy there. I know what my problem was. You notice I ain't getting up to be a salty little bitch because I don't feel cheated. I know what I did wrong. But I do get angry when I feel that I have been cheated. 
that was not a cheaty moment then. But then again, it could have been. But it wasn't. And I could just keep hammering this point into the ground. But... I'm all out of time for this episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you don't watch me again in the next one. Bye!